Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute coming at you with yet another video. We're throwing some strikes and getting some likes here. Uh, today's video is out of options. So this is where we talk about Brewers players who are out of options. In case you didn't know already, the each player on the roster has up to three options. Um, basically an option gives them the club an opportunity to send them to the minors. They can send them for no more than 20 days without losing another player option. Uh, so in this case here, guys, we're talking about option players that are out of options on our team. Uh, this comes right off of MLB trade rumors. This is not a list that I found. This is what trade rumors provided for me. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting facts to it, uh, especially being that it's going to create a log jam. Uh, if you can see the names on this list already, uh, you can see that, or if you've already read this list, you know that the players that we've got that don't have any options uh, create some problems for us. Uh, going right down the list, we're just going to read it first. We've got Jesus Aguilar, Junior Guerra, uh, Corey Knabel, Eric Kratz, Hernan Perez, Manny Pina, and Eric Thames. Now... Right off the bat, the two that I go to first is Jesus Aguilar and Eric Thames, our first baseman. Now we can platoon those two, and that's fine. Uh, but as you saw last year, late in the season, Jesus got more playing time than Thames. Leaving Thames off of the playoff roster where, you know, maybe in that extra inning game, we could have used the extra bat, Eric Thames. You know, that's, that's a give and take. Junior Guerra actually uh, had a rare opportunity where because of time and timing, he got an extra option, uh, but now he is out of options. So uh, he's not going to be a starter this year. He is going to be a bullpen guy. Uh, he's going to be used as more long relief. Uh, he's been working hard in the off season to work on his off speed stuff and his other pitches. So I think he, he presents no problem for us. Uh, Corey Knabel got sent down last year after some trouble he had. Uh, there's some incident with the fans harassing him. A lot of stuff got scared, bad with Corey Knabel. He st shut down Twitter for a while because of harassment, uh, because of what was going on. <sighs> Not cool on the fans' part, so if that was you, shame on you. Uh, Eric Kratz, again, this one produces an issue because we've got Manny Pena and Eric Kratz. We all know Yasmani Grandal is not going anywhere. He is a lock. He is number one. Uh, but Eric Kratz, Manny Pena, both non-optionable players. So does that create a situation where we carry three catchers? Or do we take the potential that Manny Pena goes on waivers and potentially gets claimed? I don't know. Do we trade? Kratz or Pena, I mean, we just re-signed Eric Kratz in November, so it doesn't seem very logical to me that we would, at this point, choose to do that, but who knows. And Aaron Perez. Aaron Perez has been our super utility guy now since we picked him up. I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't want him to go anywhere. I like his usefulness in the field, his versatility. You can throw him pretty much anywhere. Heck, he could be a fourth catcher if we needed it. Uh, he's played every position on the field. He's pitched. Uh, oh, Kratz, Kratz also pitched last year, so maybe that's a point for him over Pena. I don't know. Just an idea. Just a thought. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this creates a, a, a kind of a logjam plus the logjam of players that we already have. Um, and as you know, we've got a logjam of players on the Major League Club, and that presents an issue for lineups and things like that. And, who has options and who doesn't. Uh, this kind of lays them out in a nice little list for us. So thank you, Trade Rumors, for the list. Uh, I don't know, but we'll explore more in the next video coming in the series, which is going to be the uh, kind of breaking down what, what looks like to be an opening day roster uh, now that we're further into camp and we're seeing guys that aren't going to make it, you know, your Jimmy Nelsons, your Jeffress. Um, we know those guys aren't going to be playing on the opening day rosters, so maybe maybe that's where they can get creative with some of these guys. 
Uh, but we're going to see how that all cracks out, and who knows, maybe a trade will happen before then. Uh, but check the next video. We're going to talk more about the opening day roster and break it all down and what I think, again, my opinion, is going to happen there. So if you like this video, guys, smash that like button 2019 style. Uh, we are throwing strikes, getting likes all over the board. Uh, watch the video. We are doing a challenge to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, they'll be linked up below or on the sidebar or in the cards somewhere. Uh, watch that video. Uh, there is a challenge there. A little, a little fun, a little excitement. So watch that. Check that out. Uh, see what I'm going to be doing with the 1,000 subscriber uh, once we hit that mark. We're at 570 right now. So once we get to 1,000, it'll get exciting. Uh, and as always, guys, go Brewers and have a great day. Thanks. Thank you for watching me. Look, Minute. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and this is.